am. I'm going to hit the record button. And I also wanted to let you know that if you have any questions, and if time permits, we will be answering some questions in the chat. So please feel free to ask those questions in the chat. Um, however, we will wait till the end. I'm going to ask the presenters to leave at least, you know, two minutes, two, three minutes at the end where we can um, get to some questions. So just being mindful of that, you can throw them in the chat and we'll get to them if time permits. Um, with that said, I am going to introduce our first presenter. We have Alejandro Ariano, our Outreach Specialist at Palomar College. Alejandro? Yes, thank you, Jennifer. Um, so yes, uh, welcome everybody. My name is Alejandro Ariano and I am an Outreach Specialist at Palomar College. Um, and let me go ahead and um, pull up my presentation. Alejandro, let me make you, um, sorry about that. Let me make you um, co-host okay. so that you could do that. Sorry about that. No worries. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, Alejandro, you should be, there you go. Perfect. All righty. All right, so yes, again, uh, my name is Alejandro Arellano and I am representing Palomar Community College. Um, and tonight I also have my uh, supervisor and manager and uh, student ambassador with me tonight. Um, the student ambassador is Dea and she'll be monitoring the chat as I am speaking. So feel free to drop your questions in the chat and she will try and answer them. If not, I know that we're also waiting till the end of the presentations to answer questions. So some of the opportunities that um, are offered by a community college for students, um, I think often the notion is that community college is kind of like a repeat of high school, but actually we have a lot more to offer. Um, as you'll see on the screen, um, we do offer a variety of classes, um, degrees, certificates, um, the opportunity to transfer once you complete your credits to transfer, depending on your degree. Uh, we often have students that are coming back to us that are doing a career change. Um, post the pandemic, we've seen this often where students are coming back to us either to brush up on some skills or completely doing a, a career shift. Um, given that we are a community college and we serve primarily the communities around us, we are aware that we have a diverse student population and that um, they bring a cultural and language uh, with them when they come to our campus. So with that, we do offer a variety of languages and we do have a ESL department on campus to help these students. Um, so a primary question, um, and one of the reasons that I'm here today is to answer the question of why you should choose Palomar. So Palomar is one of the largest community colleges in San Diego right now. Uh, we have a diverse range of majors and certifications um, that you can find in our website if you search our fact sheets. We currently have five different locations. We opened our doors to the Fallbrook and Rancho Bernardo site about two years ago. Um, and our main campus is San Marcos. We also have Camp Pendleton and Escondido. Um, the community college system and Palomar in general offer a very flexible opportunity schedule for you know, the working student or the part-time working student, which is another reason why students decide to come to the community college. Um, and of course, um, a hot topic is the Palomar Promise, which I'll go briefly as I go through my presentation. Um, a recent tool that Palomar developed, which I have seen has helped tremendously our students, has been the Palomar Pathways Mapper. Um, this mapper now allows a student to go into this tool and select a major. Uh, for example, if they want to go into the business career, they can go in there and click on business and it'll give them a map of what classes to take um, semester by semester. Um, it's also uh, really helpful because for our transitioning students from high school who often will you know, need that extra guidance and um, helping hand 
I think that Palomar Pathways Mapper is where that comes into play. And students are just able to be self-sufficient in that sense and really uh, take hold of their education with this tool. As mentioned previously, so um, a community college is a, is a stepping stone for students that have plans to transfer. Oftentimes students um, will come to Palomar College with an intention to finish their two-year degree, uh, their lower division courses, to then go to the four-year institutions. And so the opportunities that we offer are CSU transfer opportunities and UC transfer opportunities. Um, just because of the time that we are permitted tonight, I, I wasn't planning to go too into depth with that. But again, if you go onto the website that is on the screen and you go to our transfer center, you will find two programs. Um, so the first program is called the ADT program, which is our partnerships with the CSUs. And the second program is the TAG program, which is the transfer agree agreement guarantee that we currently have with um, six UCs in California. Um, the best way to get started process is to get an early appointment with an academic counselor. Um, as soon as you get your ID number, you are a Palomar student. Um, we have a 100% um, admissions rate. So as soon as you get that number, you can start getting all the services that Palomar has to offer you. And of course, always visit the transfer center and keep an eye out for transfer events that are occurring. Another reason that students come to the community colleges is because of how affordable we are. So um, compared to the four-year institutions, uh, which are the CSUs, UCs, and privates, you can see on the screen just how much more affordable Palomar or the community college system is in general. Um, you know, $46 per unit. And if you're a full-time student taking five classes, you're looking at around 690 per semester. Um, it is important though to point out that a semester is a fall and spring semester. Um, summer and winter intercession um, can vary on the price depending on how many courses you're taking. So the 1380 per year is only taken into account the fall and spring semester. And again, if you would like more information on this, there is a website on the slide um, where you can visit our financial aid homepage that will give you steps on how to apply for financial aid if you are in need of financial aid. Um, as mentioned earlier, so Palomar Promise uh, actually used to be a one-year program and was recently extended to two years. And it's just another way for students to have access to community college uh, to free education. Um, it is open to any first-time college student. Um, so recent high school graduate or you know, a high school student that never went to college and wants to come back now, as long as you have not um, attained any college credit at any other institution, you are eligible. Um, you do need to file a FAFSA uh, because um, the institution and the state wants to know uh, that there is a need for cash assistance. And just in case the Palomar Promise doesn't cover everything, there are other programs that can assist you with that. Um, it is open to dreamers, of course. Um, and it's uh, simply filling out the DREAM Act instead of the FAFSA. Uh, you do have to be a California resident. So if uh, you are an out-of-state student that comes to California, there are some other requirements that you have to fulfill in order to be eligible. And again, if you have questions about that, the website is outlined on the page on the screen. In order to maintain eligibility from your first year to your second year, you have to maintain a full-time enrollment status, which is 12 units or more. Um, you do have to meet with an academic counselor to establish an education plan in order to keep you on track towards your degree and your career goals. Um, you do have to adhere to the student success agreement and maintain a minimum of a 2.0 GPA, which I like to tell students it's not that difficult as long as you're going to class, you know, reading, taking your quizzes and getting C's, um, you should be able to get that 2.0. But of course, always strive to get something higher. 
Uh, with that being said, um, that's all I have for you um, in this 10 minute time span. But um, if you would ever like to connect with us, again, I have my uh, one of our student ambassadors and my manager here tonight, and you can reach us at the email that's on the screen or you can call us. Uh, we would love to have you at a virtual tour where we can go more in depth in the services that we have and we can get to know you um, you know, in a more intimate uh, situation. Awesome. Thank you, Alejandro. I appreciate that. Um, we're going to move on to our, our uh, presenters. So Chantel Hernandez, our senior student services assistant at Miramar College, and Meredith McGill, also our senior student services assistant at Miramar College. And Chantel right. and Meredith, you can uh, share your screen if you'd like. Perfect. Um, all right, let me now transition over. All right. All right, perfect. Um, hello. Um, uh, welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Chantal Hernandez, and I'm part of the outreach team at Miramar College, and I'm very lucky also to have my colleague Meredith McGill, who will introduce herself uh, shortly. Uh, I just wanted to thank you all for, for being here. Um, I know it's late, but uh, we have great information, you know, all the presenters today. Um, and as you saw, there's a lot of great benefits um, for attending a community college, as you saw in, in Palomar's presentation. Presentation. So um, very, very um, excited to be here and uh, thank you for the invitation as well and your attention. I'm going to now uh, hand it over to Meredith to introduce herself and then you can continue with the presentation. Thank you so much, Chantal. Hi, everyone. Good evening. My name is Meredith McGill, and I also work at San Diego Miramar College with my colleague Chantal in the outreach office, working with new students, continuing students, and students that uh, specialize in our uh, retention program, such as the San Diego Promise program and our high school uh, dual enrollment. So absolutely just love working uh, with our campus community. Great, so we'd just like to uh, highlight a few great things about San Diego uh, Miramar College. Uh, as you may or may not know, we are a part of the San Diego Community College District. And so we are a part of uh, several other colleges. We have our sister colleges, uh, City and Mesa. And what's great about being a part of the San Diego Community College District is that you only are required to file one application. And we have many students that are able to take classes interchangeably between Miramar as well as our sister uh, campuses. And you're not required to file a new application. So there's a lot of great uh, convenience uh, that's incorporated uh, in that. Uh, in terms of uh, Miramar College, we are one of the fastest growing community colleges in uh, Southern California. Uh, over the past approximately 10 to 12 years, the campus really transformed. Uh, we were very fortunate to receive uh, bonds to transform the entire campus. We were uh, once upon a time, we had these uh, very small bungalows and uh, we really outgrew those. Uh, over the course of uh, 10, 20, 30 years. And with that, now we have state-of-the-art uh, uh, facilities, uh, really great uh, areas for students to just enjoy their studies, both inside the classroom and outside of the classroom. So if you haven't had the opportunity to visit us, please do. Uh, we are now open for services and we would love to see you. And then in the spring, we're gonna be fully open uh, 100%. And so uh, we hope to see you uh, in person as well in the not too distant uh, future. Uh, so just a few things that I would like to highlight is that um, we have a, a significant increase in our transfer volume. So what does that mean? Just over the past five years, we've seen a significant number of students taking advantage of uh, the opportunity to transfer to four-year institutions. Uh, for example, San Diego State, uh, UCSD local, and then also these uh, universities outside of the region too. So we've seen a 91% uh, increase in students uh, pursuing that pathway. And we also are a top transfer school uh, for UCSD as well as San Diego State uh, University. And we have over 70 associate degree 
programs and 90 career technical uh, education programs. Uh, they can be in length from six months and then they can also continue up into the two year um, associate degree program as well. So a lot of students, they may start out pursuing a more accelerated program uh, but when they begin the program, they may not be so sure, well, I may not have the commitment for the year or two, but oftentimes we find a lot of students do continue with that program, and they'll also pursue the associate's uh, degree as well. So that's, that's something that we always do encourage. And then uh, just a few uh, really great things that I like to uh, highlight is that uh, we were ranked uh, 450 out of the nation colleges for a return on investment. So what does that mean? Uh, that actually means that when students are pursuing their education through Miramar, that this return on investment is being transferred into real practical uh, positions that they are being hired for in the industry and that they are receiving competitive uh, salaries. So uh, this is really something that's very important to students because when a student is considering a career path, they need to always consider how competitive it is and what is uh, you know, the salary, what, what type of earnings potential does it have? Because that's really, really important uh, that they're gonna, they're gonna be entering into a field that they're gonna maintain just that competitive uh, edge as well. And then we were also ranked uh, 11th as one of the uh, public community colleges in California. Okay, and uh, next slide, Chantal, please. Uh, so I would like to showcase just as uh, Palomar has the San Diego uh, Promise Program, uh, we also have uh, the San Diego Promise Program too. Uh, this is a, a great, awesome program, two years of free tuition, uh, but we also uh, really focus our, our efforts on student engagement and uh, retention. So we have peer mentors that are working uh, directly with the students and they really have the opportunity to just relate one-on-one -on -one from the student perspective. And we also have many, many engagement activities uh, for students to have the opportunity to get to know their peers. We also have uh, peer retention counselors that are working very closely with the students throughout the semester and they have access to the peer retention counselors. So it's much more than just the free tuition. Uh, so definitely encourage all of you, if you're considering uh, attending any of our colleges next spring when you do graduate, uh, certainly you want to definitely apply for these programs. There's no cost and um, the elig eligibility, we'd be happy to help you just walk you through the steps and then the requirement uh, to apply as well. And then uh, just moving on to the next slide, we do have many uh, different degrees and certificates to pursue. Uh, for example, we have our School of Liberal Arts, our School of Business, Technical Careers and Workforce Initiatives. So some students, they may be interested in our Aviation Mechanic Program, uh, perhaps Paralegal Program, and uh, some of the Computer and Information Sciences. Uh, we also have the uh, School of Math, Biology, Exercise Sciences. Some students may be even interested in pursuing a degree uh, in nursing as well. So students can certainly begin uh, these courses, the, the general education and sa satisfying the prerequisites for these programs too. Uh, we also are very well known for our School of Public Safety, uh, Administration of Justice, our Emergency Medical Technology EMT program, and then of course the Fire uh, Protection uh, Technology uh, program as well. Um, a lot of students, it's not uncommon, they may not yet know uh, what they're planning to pursue in terms of their education or career goals, and that's perfectly okay. Uh, I myself, I was very unsure when I was in high school and then transitioning to community college, uh, but what's really encouraging. I just want to let you know that we're all there for you to support you. We have great counselors, uh, access to a lot of different opportunities to explore. And in some cases, it may take some time just being in the classroom. Uh, but what's great about meeting with the counselor early on is that they're able to assist you in just developing that educational plan so you can begin completing the general education courses and then eventually decide what type of major uh, that you may be interested in exploring as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to my colleague, uh, Chantal. 
All right. Um, and I know we're uh, running low on time, but uh, this is just a snapshot of some of our well, uh, most well-known programs. And these are only a few, uh, but these are uh, programs that uh, we receive a lot of questions about, um, a lot of popular programs. A lot of students ask us about, you know, in transportation, about automotive and the diesel technology. So if it is that you're interested in either going into Honda, Toyota, or just, you know, general automotive uh, degree, you can do so um, in the sciences. We have uh, technology medical lab technician program as well. Um, if you want to help doctors with, you know, uh, treatment and, and diagnosis of different, you know, illnesses and diseases, you know, work with, with the lab testing and all of that, you can go into those fields. Uh, public safety, like Meredith mentioned already, um, you know, we have fire technology, EMT technician, you can receive the training there. Police Academy as well, we have that. That's, a, you know, uh, probably one of the most well-known for Myanmar. And we also have aviation, if it is that you're interested in becoming a, a pilot, either commercial, private, um, or you just want to, you know, um, uh, know how to how to inspect and repair the aircraft as well. So just only a few um, of the ones that are the most uh, well known. Um, and then this is just the 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 new student steps. Uh, we have six of them. So even though right now the application for the fall isn't uh, released, uh, typically at the end of January, beginning of February is when the fall application opens up. And that's when students can begin um, step one and then continue on all the way to step six, which is of course enrolling into classes. Um, the outreach team is available if you need any assistance on that. We are specifically there to assist you with the new student steps and, and getting you um, just started with, with our resources and our campus. And then um, last but not least, uh, these are just different ways we connect with our community. You know, if there's events such as these, this is, you know, why we're here. Um, we, we were invited and we want to share this information. Um, if, you know, a class or a group uh, wants a, a presentation, we can do that as well. We have information sessions every month and we continue having different events with, um, you know, different campus offices to collaborate. And then this is just, you know, our information in case uh, you have any questions about, you know, uh, what we covered. I know we didn't have uh, too much time right now, but uh, if you have any questions or if you just want to learn more, this is our information. Uh, join our email list. We have our newsletter that we send out every month with updates and, and, and events and, and all of that great information for you. So uh, please join and, um, of course, you know, stay connected. And that's about it. Thank you, Chantal and Meredith. Um, we are going to turn it over to our final presenter, Jonathan Gomez, a program manager at Mira Costa College. Hi everyone, good, good evening. Uh, thanks for joining us and thanks for the great presentations before us. So we're going to highlight some of the differences and I'm actually going to have our student ambassadors, Danya and Austin, uh, present some of the slides. Hi, so my name is um, Dania Saldivar, pronouns she, her, and hers. Uh, you're more than welcome to call me Danny. I am a um, student ambassador, but I'm also involved in, um, I'm the president for the Mono Club. I am the program assistant for the Mono Club. Um, I am the treasurer for a sustainability club to make Maricosta more green and eco-welcome, so we're more green. And I am an All-American rugby player, so I definitely join sports. I graduated from Rancho Bernardo High School and um, had a fun time playing for um, that team. So, Austin. So, hi, everyone. My name is Austin, and I'm also a student ambassador, and I'm a part of the Associated Student Government at Maricosa. And then I also work for Student Life and Leadership. And uh, this is technically, I guess, my second year here at Maricosa. And um, this is some of our other student ambassadors who will be helping you um, get uh, enrolling at, at Maricosta. And you can also um, schedule a tour with us at maricosta.edu slash tour. Can we introduce Gabby real quick? Is she here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hi, I'm Gabby Bass. Um, I'm uh, the outreach specialist uh, and, uh, you know, here to support uh, your students and if you like uh, Austin said, uh, we're here to answer questions and provide tours if you need any of that assistance. So um, Miracosta College has different locations. Um, the closest one to your area, I believe, is the San Eligio campus, I believe. Um, they are now, they're offering some in-class um, cor like courses where you're able to be online, not online, hybrid, sorry. They're able to meet online. 
um, over Zoom or in person. I myself, I'm taking some of the in-person class, which are amazing. Um, but other than that, we also do have an, uh, the CLC and the non-credit where you're able to take adult um, courses. And um, we also have the English as a second like language and they do offer some programs where you're able to like know about like how to get a citizenship and different programs that you could take in the CLC. You get, Austin, if I'm missing something, you're more than welcome to um, like- No, I think you covered everything. Okay. So our average um, student age is 27 and we have an average of uh, 24 people in a class. And this is, uh, I believe, an image over at our San Alejo campus. And then down there, you can kind of see a breakdown of uh, enrollment and also demographics. So Miracosta is known for being one of the top uh, community college being military friendly. Um, we are known for our ver veteran, um, veteran affairs. Um, I believe the other second one is San Diego uh, University State who's also known for um, being military friendly. Um, I met great people who have been in my class who are active duty and They've been pretty, pretty great, so. So right now, Maricosta is going through a lot of renovations. So um, these images are just some of the design concepts. So we have a new student center service buildings at both our San Alejo campus and our Oceanside campus. Um, the one over at San Alejo is pretty close to being finished and then we're going to be adding a new athletics facility, um, upgrading our career training facilities, and also modernizing our instructional technology centers. So Maricosta does offer the Maricosta Promise. It's available to uh, full-time students or those who are enrolled more in 12 units or up. Um, Miracosta does encourage you a lot to submit your FAFSA California Dream Act application. And even they offer some programs like EOPS. Um, if you are eligible and you can apply to it, um, you'll get like $250 um, for a book voucher. So you're able to purchase uh, books or any Miracosta um, like clothing wise. Um, and, you're, and we do also have um, in the Maricosta website, we do have like a website itself, like a corridor for scholarships. Uh, we do encourage students um, to always apply and just try to see, to gain more money because it's very highly encouraged to, you don't only want to save, but also gain while you're at college. Uh, yeah, so Maricosta has a partnership with Point Loma Nazarene University. So some of the programs that we offer with them um, is business administration, computer information technology, registered nursing and child development. And um, they're hybrid classes at Maricosta and online. And uh, the tuition is 16,800 per year. So the first four of San Alejo's Ali, Ali, first semester for college classes, four days per week and seats guaranteed. What I like about um, this is that for community college, um, you can make your own schedule. It's definitely not like high school. I met a lot of high school students who think that they will get their own like schedule for it, but you can do it this so it works with you, your life. So it's just, and you get seats guaranteed. You always have like one class where it's open. Especially if you have a uh, first priority, if you're one of the age programs or an involved, involved in certain programs, you'll get first priority. So you'll be able to enroll and get those classes that are difficult or sometimes super packed to get, especially if you're a STEM major. So it's very competitive sometimes. So AmeriCosa offers different career education um, pathways that kind of help you uh, prepare for a certain career. So, um, we are offering some new programs in cybersecurity and sustainable agriculture this year. 
Um, also, Miracosta just offer a new sustainability club, which I'm uh, involved in, and it's pretty amazing. Um, horticulture and sustainability kind of like attached to itself. So, so the sustainability club is now making events where it's any community member, I believe, is able to attend, and they were making soon their own like garden at the Yota Ota Vista um, High School this Friday. Well, they were start to, um, I believe, um, make soil or clean up the area to make the garden. So future events we'll be holding up where we're trying to spread out Maricosta's name as more sustainable. Uh, Biomanufacturing, I do know that some, um, I know Rancho Bernardo did offer uh, biotechnology, uh, the course. So um, I met some of them who are interested in that and they attend to Merit Coast Study because of it. Um, how, how Austin had to say it's uh, renovating. So a lot of the um, science like classrooms are being renovated and it's higher technology for better uh, quality for the students who have materials. And yes, it's made a total cost about 10,000 for the fourth year program. So Maricosta also has the Technology Career Institute and it's a really great program if you're interested in um, learning um, uh, mechanical and engineering skills at a really um, fast pace. Uh, and you do a lot of um, hand, um, hand work and a lot of engaging work uh, in the Career Institute. So the Academic Success and Equity Programs, um, shorter for ACE program, uh, is intentionally centered for communities that have been historically um, marginalized in traditional higher ed. We have EOPS, as I said before, you have to be eligible and apply to it for you to get in. Uh, first year forward, uh, Mana, Puente, Rafi, Moja, Uprise and Transitions is one of our newest um, ACE programs as of, I think this year. Um, and I actually am involved in the MANA program is uh, geared for, towards Pacific Islanders and Native Hawaiians. Um, usually the, the ACE programs have a designated counselor where you'll be able to meet 101, uh, meet what up with for your uh, ed plan where you're able to see what classes you plan to take on the future or in that semester. And the beauty of community college is that you don't have to be 100% sure about what major you want. You can also always change and be fluid around that. And then you have Puente, which is for um, Hispanic, Latino X, um, Rafi, Moja um, for African students. Um, and usually what I love about this, they all have different events and you're able to, um, you don't have to be necessarily in that uh, program to attend those events and you're able to meet with that community and talk about problems. So it's really amazing. And then um, we have our honors program, which I'm also a part of. And it's a really great program since um, there's no minimum GPA required to join. And you can join small classes of about 20 to 25 people. And there's academic research opportunities. And you can also take this research to the Omni uh, Research Conference. Uh, we have two per year. And then it's a community of like-minded students. And there's also the UCLA Transfer Alliance Program that's also known as TAP. Um, and 100% of honor scholars that have completed their TAP certificate have been admitted into UCLA in recent years. So sports teams, uh, we do have a men's and women's basketball, uh, men's and women's soccer, intramurals, rugby, surf, and volleyball. Um, surf is pretty well known since we're so close to the coast and literally so close to the coast and it's pretty amazing. Uh, so we do have a surf team. Um, I love rugby. I'm an All-American. And as I said before, um, I play for the RB um, and I was our captain. So it's really amazing that I'm able to also play for a community college and hopefully transfer um, and continue to play for the USA U20 team. So pretty good. And I believe uh, even though we're still in COVID, we still follow the COVID guidelines and we do get clearance. So Miracosa is pretty good at maintaining that um, COVID-like factor of it and getting clearance and checking on it.
And that's the end of our uh, presentation, but please feel free to reach out to Jonathan or anybody from the outreach team and we would be happy to answer any questions that you have. Awesome. Thank you, Danya and Austin. Thank you so much for that presentation. Um, I know we are actually right on time, so thank you to our presenters. Um, but I wanted to open up the chat if anybody had some questions or comments or thoughts for any of our presenters. Um, I know, thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan um, popped his in for his direct information um, in the chat. If the presenters previously, Alejandro from Palomar and Chantel and um, and uh, Chantel and Meredith from Miramar can also do that. That'd be great. Thank you, Gabby, also from Miracosta for joining us this evening. Um, great presentations. Awesome. Um, again, any questions in the chat? Maybe because it's so late, everyone's getting ready for bed here. Thank you, the presenters, for putting your information in the chat. <clears throat> All right, well, it looks like nothing's coming in or just give me a few more minutes. Okay, well, thank you everyone. Uh, do, oh, actually, I actually have a question here. Do you, do you have community college links? I think Noah's asking about the community college links. Um, do all three of our colleges maybe want to put that in the chat directly? Are they referring to like the homepage link, like website? I'm not sure I understand. Yeah. Uh, community college. Because I know uh, my uh, assistant dropped a few links at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So that should cover everything that I presented. Um, and I just dropped my department's email as well. I'm not sure if that helps, Noah. Thank you. And then there was another question. I don't know if Danya answered it, um, but it was uh, for the UCLA TAP program. Is there also, in, does that also encompass impacted majors? Danya, did you answer that question or? I don't think we answered that, but um, oh. it uh, for UCLA, it's for the College of uh, Arts and Sciences, I believe, or letter, Letters and Sciences. Some majors like Communication Studies, I know it doesn't apply to that. So some of the impacted ones, it's it's not going to help you get into those. Um, and this is probably for all the presenters. There was a question that came in is, how do you choose which community college to go to? Is it based on the area of interest or how easy it is to transfer to UCSD, SDSU, or UCLA? I don't know who that's maybe directed to, but if anybody wants to answer that. I can answer that. Um, so for, for example, I live in National City, but I decided Miracosta due to like um, how well it's good known for its STEM majors. I am a mathematics major. So I heard only good things of what it is due to a friend. Um, so I definitely went to Miracosta. Um, it depends. Uh, you could do a little bit more research of if you get like an ongoing because some community college like Maricosta, like if you attend to it, you'll for sure go to like UCSD or like Point Loma. So it's like you it goes hand to hand. It, you have to check on also what you're interested in. And I also really knew about the rugby team. So that was my other factor of joining. Awesome. And, and just adding to that, um, uh, yeah, you know, you know, do your research, um, research the schools, um, you know, areas of, of, of study are a big factor into um, deciding, um, at least that's been our experience, you know, um, and was, what our, you know, was already mentioned as well, um, you know, do your research, what are the programs that they're known for, um, and of course, you know, a lot of the local um, 
universities and, and, and institutions have you know similar agreements with you know the community college uh, community colleges in California. However, you know they're again you know researching the school and making sure that it also connects you know with you know the campus culture there you know like was mentioned before sports or you know any of the clubs the campus life because you are going to be um you know spending a lot of time you know in, in the classroom and of course i know virtually still you're still interacting you're still interacting with resources and anything that's outside of that classroom so uh, definitely do the research behind it um connect with you know all of the great presenters Presenters here today. It's a you know you already have names, you already have faces that you are familiar with. You know, reach out to to all of the schools that you're interested in. That way, you can get a little bit more insight into that. Great, thank you. I would Shana. also recommend as well if you have the opportunity to visit um, the campuses that you're interested in. Now, with things starting to reopen, some of the services may not yet be available. For example, campus tours, um, but you're always still welcome to stop by. Um, like our college, for example, and even just, you know, walk around. Our office is open uh, currently Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and we're in the Welcome Center. And so we'd love just to help answer any questions. But I think if you have the opportunity to visit um, the campuses, you're really going to get a feel for what you're looking for, and particularly if it's for the fall of 2022. Uh, with things opening even more so in the springtime, there'll be more students, uh, you know, certainly at the campuses. So I think that you'll you'll kind of just, you know, get a feel for the, the campus and the culture and, you know, visioning yourself uh, being a student there. Awesome. Thank you. All right, everyone. Well, that will conclude our presentation tonight. Thank you again to our presenters. Thank you again to our attendees. And uh, thank you again. Have a good night. Get some rest. Thank Bye, you. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.